All right. So let's say that I chose um, hydrofracking for my topic. And I'm going to show you how we're going to determine if it's a just right resource. We are not researching. We're just looking for a resource that would be a good fit for us to actually do some research with. And it's a win if we get more. So after you get to your Clever page in the library page and go to IMS for Kids, you are going to click on the Resources tab. So you can definitely use any of these. I would suggest. Scholastic Go, True Flix, or Science Flix, or Freedom Flix, to be honest with you. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to go to Science Flix, and our login is CREC1, CREC1. I'll remember to put that on there for you. And I am going to type in here hydrofracking. It's possible I spelled it wrong. Natural gas, the energy, growing populations, natural gas. All right, so um, no, but four, four results. So I'm just going to take a look here on this one. And I'm just going to browse through. And nope, I don't see anything. So I'm going to go into my Seesaw page which is this one. And on here, I'm going to put my topic. Hydro. And I'm going to drag it in here and I'll resize it and all that good stuff. And then my first resource, it was science. All right, so I'm just gonna drag that here. Obviously I would resize it. So I wanna know if it's accessible, and oops it was accessible it, i was able to read it was it informative no and was it engaging um yeah i liked it it wasn't that bad but i didn't find anything that i was looking for so i'm not going to be able to use it so now let's say i'm going to go to scholastic go so i'm just looking for three I might need a space in between that, but that's okay. So it's still looking. Hey, look at this. Hydraulic fracturing. Awesome. Now, here's a tip I want to give you. You are going to look for things that have the yellow or the green, depending on your reading level. So this is three, which is blue, which is grades eight through 12, which I know I can understand, but let's see, this is natural gas, which looks like I just read about in the history of Canada. So here's the thing I'm gonna suggest. I am gonna open this and I'm gonna take a look through and see, and guess what? I can, read, I can have it read to me. Sometimes that's super helpful and can make it accessible. And as I'm looking through, I personally can understand this. So I'm going to type in now, I'm going to type in um, Scholastic Go. I'm going to drag that down here. And then I'm looking here and it is accessible because if I can't read all the words, I can have it read to me. It looks super informative. And I'm going to take one more peek for engagement. And it's got like other stuff I can go look at around it. And then there's a nice video. It looks like there's some more websites here. Pretty cool. All right. So I'm going to say yes. Now I'm going to just look for one more. So I'm going to go back. And I know my topic is science-y. So I'm going to go to Brain Pop and see if I can find anything on Brain Pop. And there is nothing on hydrofracking. So I'm going to actually go back to Brain Pop. And I'm going to go into the science because sometimes I can find it better through there than if I um, do a search. So I'm looking at ecology, it could be under energy because I know it's about how we get gas. 
current electricity and i'm just doing a quick browse gas and oil i'm gonna take a look there i'm gonna see what this video nope i'm gonna go back a page so it's not that one that i'm looking for Maybe it's under natural resources. Nope. And you know what? Brain Pop doesn't have anything. But if you want to look further, this is all you don't even have to log in to do this part. You're just going to look. And so with my um, page in Seesaw, I'm going to put. And then I'm going to drag it down here. And then I'm going to use my little tool. And it was definitely accessible because I've used Brain Pop from before. So I'm familiar with it. It didn't have anything on it. And I know I, that Brain Pop is engaging for me. All right. All right. Perfect. So when you're done, this is what your sheet should look like. And it looks like ding, ding, ding. Scholastic Go is my winner winner chicken dinner for my go to resource on hydro fracking. It fits all three criteria. All right, have fun. Um, have fun choosing a resource, choosing a topic, and then seeing which resource is a just a good fit for you.